Good morning, everybody. Could be afternoon by the time I actually figure this thing out. Uh, given the state of things on uh, Facebook and eventually Instagram, given they're owned by the same people, uh, I've decided to try to set up this YouTube thing so that I have a place to share videos. That I don't have to worry about them getting taken off or removed um, or this war on uh, what we keep, which are these wonderful animals. This is Stevie. She is an ivory blood python. I chose her for this video um, because I've actually sold her and she's going to be leaving probably this upcoming week. So this might be the last video I get a chance to do with her. Um, it's really going to be pretty difficult for me. She's kind of got a, a pretty big piece of my heart. Uh, unfortunately, keeping the way that I do, I have limited space and resources and uh, she's not a snake that I'm going to breed and she's not going to be in that program. I haven't really been doing educational programs as much as I used to. I'd like to start doing that again and she would be a great animal for that. Uh, but for the time being, I found someone that I trust and so she's going to be going to him, um, you know, where she will be uh, a pet for him. Uh, so I figured she would be a good choice for this video. Give her one last shot here, um, you know. I'm gonna start a new channel. What better than to start with than you know someone who's been so important to me because she's such a wonderful girl. So what this channel is gonna be uh, primarily is gonna be for keeping tip at education. Um, you know, from time to time when I travel to other people's collections, I'll do videos and things like that. I'll do videos within my own. Uh, I live in New England, so sometimes in the winter time, the content's gonna be indoors all the time. When it's summer, I'll be able to do some stuff outside, which will be a lot more exciting. Um, I keep mostly blood and short tail pythons. I have a few other species as well. Uh, a lot of Australian stuff, spotted pythons, water pythons, which you'll see. I have um, olive pythons. I have McLotz pythons, things of that nature, um, southern white lips. So I will uh, try to show you a variety of stuff that I have and a variety of stuff that other people have as well. Uh, definitely open to... Uh, Feedback, both positive, negative, whatever you got. Uh, I'm not a sensitive person, so I'd rather hear it. I am not a tech guru at all. I am quite the opposite. So don't expect a lot of fancy tricks here. Don't expect a lot of uh, like crazy zoom ins, outs, things of that nature. Uh, if time goes on and this actually takes off a little bit, then I will try and go ahead and uh, work in some of that stuff if I can learn how to do it. Um, I'm barely able to function on the internet, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm trying to set this thing up right now and I'm already lost. Um, so anyhow, feedback's always great. Content on what you'd like to see. You're not going to see bite videos. You're not going to see feeding videos here. Uh, that stuff does nothing positive for the hobby. Um, I'm not a person that believes that we need to hide anything that we do, but I also believe that there's certain things that don't need to be thrust into people's faces and that's definitely one of them considering the damage it's already done to the hobby and continues to do. Um, people really need to be vigilant and pay attention. If you don't follow US Arc, I suggest that you do on um, social media, via email, whatever it is, uh, especially if you keep any animals, really. Uh, yes, they're on the forefront of fighting for reptile rights as they are the United States Association of Reptile Keepers. Um, but reptiles are kind of the first animals to come under fire when they're trying to change laws and set precedents. Um, and then once those precedents are set, it's a lot easier to go after other things. If they started with dogs or cats, then you know, a lot more people keep them and there's a lot more pushback. These are a lot easier to get things done. And once that precedent is set, no matter how much pushback there is, they really can just roll you over and do whatever they need to do. Uh, so be vigilant, pay attention to that. That's not a fear mongering thing. That's something that's actually happening and continues to happen. Um, and if you follow US Arc, you'll see all these action alerts for these different places around the country and what's going on. Um, I know a lot of you from around the world do not necessarily understand. A lot of other countries don't do this kind of stuff. Some do, some don't. Um, but here we, we face a lot of scrutiny. Uh, once every other year, somebody tends to do something stupid and it affects us all. Uh, we just had that happen recently. Uh, so we are uh, preparing for what's going to come down as a result of that. I'm sure Indiana is going to tighten up. And then that usually affects the states around the state that does that. Uh, here in New England, it's Massachusetts, especially the Cambridge area, tends to kind of get us all. Um, they tend to push through legislation and people consider that area to be a model for other legislation and then it just snowballs. Uh, so it's really important to pay attention to what goes on around you as well as, as your own area. Uh, so I'm going to keep this video pretty short just as an introduction to the thing, uh, especially because I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get this, this uploaded. Um, 
But yeah, if you're not if you're not looking for something you know super eye catching as far as you know the videography goes, and you're just looking for something with good information, um, with cool animals, uh, this will definitely be the place for you. Uh, like I said, hit me with some some ideas. I know I'd like to do something on taming hatchlings down. I'm going to do something discussing how to safely handle larger constrictors and also, um, you know, why these accidents happen and how to prevent them. I know a lot of people have done that content, but that's one of those subjects that I don't think can get out there enough. There's a lot of people who seem to think that an eight foot snake can't kill a person and you couldn't be more wrong. Um, and I'm not saying that these are dangerous monsters or anything like that, but they need to be respected and they need to be handled appropriately and properly with a proper safety protocol. Uh, not only does that, that help us, it helps them. Uh, so it's really important to be doing doing those sorts of things. Um, I do have a lot of blood and short tail pythons, so you will see a variety of those. Um, those are some of my favorite species, and that's the majority of what I keep, um, both because they are something I'm passionate about and also because when I decided to really invest in something, I wanted to invest in something that was less likely to get whacked with all this legislation. Um, you know, they usually tend to go after the bigger stuff first just because it's easier to sensationalize. You know, it's, it's hard to sensationalize this animal and, and make it out to be a killer, but uh, a 15 foot snake is very, very easy. Um, so African rocks are actually my favorite species, but it's not a species that I really get to work with on the level that I'd like because of, of the legal state there. Um, so these guys, you know, the bloods and short tails were kind of my, my secondary and so that's where I'm at. So any questions, let me know. Any advice, I'm more than happy to take. Um, if there's somebody out there that's big into the YouTube thing and wants to mentor me, I'm more than happy to do that. Um, especially maybe you're newer to snakes, I'm, I'm willing to exchange uh, information there and help you out with that. Uh, not saying that I am perfect by any means, but I have been working with these animals for nearly two decades. Uh, and I do keep a lot of them and I work with them every day. So I do have a lot to offer there um, in exchange. So I'll cut this off for now. Um, I'm going to spend some time with this girl today because it might be the last day that I really have bulk time to spend with her. Um, you know, she's been so wonderful for the last couple of years and uh, I'm going to miss her a lot. I will not lie, I'll probably cry like a little kid um, and I'm not ashamed of that. You know, these animals have my heart, they're a part of my life, my family. Um, and so I hope to be able to share that with you guys. Alrighty, I appreciate all the support on social media that I have now. I'll try to figure out how to link this to like Instagram and, and Facebook and all that. Um, so that everybody that uh, has always supported me over there can continue to enjoy the content. I just want to get it into a safer place where it's less apt to be deleted or removed or uh, under less restriction. All right, thanks guys.